It's been reported a laptop is stolen about every 53 seconds, and less than 2% of them are ever recovered. So what happens to them? Lisa Guerrero and the I-Squad put their laptops in harm's way to see what happened. You're watching a brazen thief swiping my laptop computer at a busy restaurant. It happens hundreds of thousands of times a year. And for the victims, the loss can be devastating. Now, Mom, what's your emergency? Someone broke into my car and they stole my laptop computer. <laughs> and I'm just really upset because my whole life was on that. Gail Forsyth from Charleston, West Virginia, made that heartbreaking 911 call when she realized her laptop had been stolen out of her car, parked right in the driveway. I was just bawling my eyes out because I knew that someone else, someone bad, you know, had my family's information and had my information. We wondered if we could catch a laptop thief, so we set up a sting. I placed my laptop on tables at restaurants and cafes. I put my jacket on the chair, then briefly stepped away. What would-be thieves don't know is that we had security expert Jason Cecchettini of VectorTrack.com secretly place a tracking device in our laptop. They would never know that there's a tracking system in this computer. That's right. He could even get at home, open it up, power it on, and he could be surfing the internet while we're tracking him from outside. At this McDonald's in New York City near Madison Square Garden, it didn't take long for our computer to attract interest. Watch as this guy scopes it out, then calmly closes our laptop, picks it up, and walks away. In no time, he's out the door. We got him. He's walking out right now. Yep. Our producer, wearing a hidden camera, follows the computer crook on foot, but he slips away in the crowded New York City subway. The laptop could be anywhere, so we wait in our van, hoping to pick up a signal when the thief emerges from underground. So it's 30 minutes later, and we just got a signal on him. Jason, what have you got? Well, we now have a GPS location on him, and it shows him in Brooklyn. He's at the corner of... Fulton Street and Marcy Avenue. Our thief traveled 10 miles to Brooklyn, so we hit the streets. So right now we're probably within about uh, 100 feet of the laptop. The signal led us here, to the second floor of this abandoned home. It was too dangerous for us to go in alone, so we asked officers from the New York Police Department to help. But without a search warrant, this was as far as they could go. So we tried again, this time across the country in Sacramento, California. We went to this Starbucks with outdoor seating. Again, I placed the computer and jacket at a table and walked away. Watch as this guy walks over and after looking around to make sure the coast is clear, he takes the computer and hey, that's my jacket. The chase is on. How far are they from us right now, approximately? They're approximately about three quarters of a mile to the north. His trail takes us on a winding ride through Sacramento. Jason, I'm starting to hear some beeps. What does this mean? So now we're probably within about two blocks of the laptop. Then all of a sudden, I spot the guy. It looks like directly in front of us on a bike is the kid that actually took the computer. Excuse me, can we talk to you for a second? The jig was up. Were you just at a Starbucks? A little ways back oh, with yeah, a group of friends? I'm just going to put your thing on Craigslist. Did you? You got our computer? Yeah. I couldn't believe how cool he was, so I got out to confront him. Did you steal my laptop? I wasn't trying to steal your laptop. That's funny, because it sure did look like he stole it. Believe it or not, he said he took the computer so he could return it to its owner by placing an ad on Craigslist. But where was my computer? We followed him back to his house where he handed it over. So for thieves thinking about swiping another laptop, think twice because you may be tracked down by the Inside Edition iSquad. Excuse me, can we talk to you for a second? And if you'd like to learn how you can better safe your laptop, just come to our website, InsideEdition.com, for some tips. We'll be back right after this. Still to come, she's the loudmouth.